Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder for CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about five rules for a friend with benefits type relationship. And so if this is your first time to our channel, make sure that you go and hit the subscribe button to learn more about how to attract the man and the relationship that you've always wanted. So um, normally I don't typically talk about friend with benefits uh, type situations because um, it's kind of something that I think that most women should avoid if they want something long term at all. And so, uh, but you know, if, if you are going to get into a friend with benefits situation, um, here are some of the rules that I think that you should follow. So the first rule is to treat this as like a one night stand type of thing and um, expect that that is what <laughs> is going to come from it is some kind of situation like that. And so, um, you know, with this rule, what I'm, I'm really saying here is that uh, if you're going to get into a casual relationship, don't do it with somebody that you see on a continual basis, right? Don't do it with a guy from work. Don't do it with a, um, a neighbor or, or somebody who lives close to you. Do it with somebody that lives <laughs> far enough away that you don't know, that you don't run into, that you don't see a lot because um, what tends on happening, tends on, tends to happen during these types of situations is that somebody ends up catching feelings and that it ends up turning awkward and that <laughs> ends up having to get broken up. You, you end up having to break up with somebody has to break up with the other person and if you have to see each other a lot it ends up just getting awkward and weird and it painful and so um i know some people are gonna watch this and be like oh crap i'm already in that situation what do i do now well um you shouldn't have gotten into that situation <laughs> so rule number two is that uh, you should not try to analyze the relationship that you have together because in reality, there is no relationship there. It's just a uh, sexual uh, encounter that you're having with another person. And like I said before, usually somebody ends up catching feelings. Um, and my suggestion is instead of trying to analyze and figure things out and trying to you know take it to a... Um, a real relationship, what you should probably do instead is just back out completely as soon as you start feeling anything for this person because it, it's um, uh, you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble when you start trying to figure out how to turn it into something real um, if your partner doesn't or your the guy you're sleeping with doesn't feel like uh, he wants something real, which... Um, there's a good chance that he doesn't. Rule number three is to avoid turning this into uh, some kind of friend or a date, right? So um, with a casual relationship, you want to keep the emotions back because um, as soon as those emotions start getting in there or as soon as you start trying to put a kind of a courtship frame around uh, the interaction that you're having, um, it usually goes downhill from there. And so um, it's better to, if you're just going to do like a casual thing with a guy, um, to keep it at just that and don't make it any deeper than that um, because uh, there's a really good chance that you're gonna get end up, you're gonna end up getting hurt from it. And so it's just uh, it's a bad, it's a bad idea to, uh, to, to try to make it deeper. Rule number four is to avoid expectations when it comes to uh, this person that you're uh, hooking up with. And so, um, you know, a lot of times what ends up happening is that uh, one person or the other will start creating these um, expectations or these ideas about how the other person should behave or start acting around them. Um, and that is like uh, that's going into relationship material again or relationship uh, territory again and you don't want to go in that space um, especially if you haven't created the foundation to have a relationship because um, what's more likely to end up happening here is the person that you're 
uh, hooking up with is probably going to start getting resentful around this and then um, it's just gonna go downhill from there um, you know so you want to keep everything light you want to keep everything on a casual level you want to avoid uh, trying to critique this person's etiquette or you know uh, unloading your baggage on him or um, expecting him to connect with you on an emotional level um, and uh, you know treat him less like he's a friend of yours and more like uh, somebody that you're just hanging out with and want to hook up with rule number five is to be ch mature about how the relationship ends or the you know situation ends and it's it's going to end and it probably is going to end um as soon as uh somebody starts acting weird which is usually what ends up happening in these types of situations is one person starts acting weird um and then that uh the other person usually just disappears ghosts um starts ignoring them or just like uh pushes them away uh, because it's it's um, it's gonna happen, you know, um, you know, and and you can't uh, you can't get all hooked up into that. And, and this is another reason why I said as soon as if you start catching feelings, my suggestion is just to pull out and away from it immediately. That way you don't get super deep in. Next thing you know, you're falling in love. Next thing you know, you want something deeper. Next thing you know, um, he's disappearing on you. And next thing you know you're heartbroken. So um, expect that there's going to be an end to it. And, um, you know, if you notice uh, like courtship things starting to happen with him or yourself, that's the time to end it. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, Click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.